ಅಸ್ಪದಾಚಾರಿ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾ ಶ್ರೀತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತಮಾವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವೈ ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃಸು ಬಂತಾಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದೈವಿ ಆಸುರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ರಾಕ್ಷಸಿ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಸೇ ದಟ್ Uh, it is mentioned because daivi prakruti is for samsara moksha whereas asuri and rakshasi prakrutis are for nibandhana therefore one should be taken up adanaya daivyaha adanaya and itara yohu parivarjanaya adhyaya arabhyate this chapter is for that purpose we saw the first verse of daivi sampat let's look at the second kincha who wants to take this not much to do there I'm just thinking it's just reading anyway yeah okay uh, may i uh, yes yes please ahimsa uh, you want me to do the padachada and read or read it as a verse please uh, chant it first then do the padachada ahimsa satyam atrodah ಶಾಂತಿರಪೈಷು ದಯಾಭೂತೇಷ್ವಲೋಲು ಸೊ ಅಹಿಂಸಾ ಸತ್ಯಮಕ್ರೋಧಸ್ತ್ಯಾಗಶಾಂತಿರಪೈಷು ದಯಾಭೂತೇಷ್ವಲೋಲು ಮಾರ್ಧವೀರಚಾಪಲ you get you get the meter right then you know i mean yeah. it's a, the words are a little tricky anyway unless you know used to chanting this chapter the it's a tongue twister many a time okay anyway padacheda uh, yeah padacheda ahimsa yeah satyam akrodah tyagah <coughs> shantihi ಲಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ so i am sleeping or more sleepy than no, 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 i i i wrote it correctly yeah, but uh, when i reading it happened, i read it it happened it it does happen you know to start seeing vakara so what happened to the vakara so it does happen yeah so uh, okay so it's just listing all our first cases these are listing and then he is going to say all these are what daivi this is all daivi daivavanti all these are daivi daivi sampat so it's just listing but we have to know what these mean you know what ahimsa is satya is akrodha tyaga shanti 
Apayishanam will see Daya Bhuteshu Alolukta. So the Bhuteshu Daya, that's how it will connect. And then Alolukta, Mardam, Trihi, and Achapalam. So not, no Anvaya there, it's just uh, listing. So what is Ahimsa? Ahimsa is Ahimsanam. So Bhagavan Bhashyakara uses a different Pratya. Just give me a moment. Some applications are open. Okay, so so ahimsa is ahimsanam with lut pratya gives the same meaning as generally we say non-violence. So this is what ahimsa ahimsanam and further explained as what prani nam pida varjanam. Actually, if somebody wants to read it, you can read the vashya also. Yeah, I can read. <clears throat> okay, ahimsa. Uh, I should I say equal to ahimsanam or straight away read it? That's uh, you can read. You can read and okay. I'll read. That's okay. You okay. can read. Whatever you prefer. Okay. okay, ahimsa, ahimsanam, ahimsanam, praninam, pida varjanam. Pida varjanam. Okay. Then we will look at okay. it. Okay, okay. Satyam apriya nrita varjitam. Yatha Bhutharta Vachanam Akrodaha Paraihi Akrushtasya Abhihatasya Va Praptasya Krodasya Upashamanam. So, what is Ahimsa? Ahimsa is Ahimsanam, another Pratya, and what is it? Praninam Pida Varjanam. So, non violence should not trouble the Pranis. And this Ahimsa is, a, you know, we see Paramo Dharma Ityadi in the Shruti. But then Ahimsa, who can really do Ahimsa? This is a Sanyasi Vachana, really. Sanyasi has to make a Vachana, Ahimsa Vachana, that he will not give any Pida to anyone. So nobody, even the Prani should not be afraid when a person walks. So you should not walk in such a manner, you know. Uh, Mahamandalishwara Kailashashan used to say that when you are walking, no, a bird is sitting there. Bird, life is dear to everyone. So it should not, you know, ahimsa also means you should not let the bird also have the fear. So when you walk, it should not fly away. You should walk slowly. And this is what a sannyasi specifically should be careful. This is. So satyam. What is satyam? Satyam is apriya and anruta varjitam. Yatha Bhuta Artha Vachanam. So Yatha Bhuta Artha Vachanam. As it is. So what is uh, Satyam really? Satya and Anruta. See Anruta Varjita. So Satya and Anruta, here they are seen as opposites, but sometimes Satyam and Rutam are separated. Satyam is truth and Rutam is fact. That's how they differentiate. But then what is Satyam? If you know of a fact as it is and narrate as it is that is satyam if you do not know what is a fact but still you are sure that that's how it is through whatever source and you present it in that manner then that is also satyam so satyam may not always be ruta because rutam is a fact Satyam is conveying it the way you have in your mind. So the vritti that you have, have in your mind, presenting it in the same manner is Satya. Yatha Bhutartha Vachanam. That is why Yatha Bhutartha Vachanam and Anruta Varjita and Apriya. It should not be Apriya. Apriya Varjita and Anruta Varjita. As far as possible, it should be Priya. Dear to someone, or the way you mention the satya, you know, it's a fact, it's a truth. I can say it any which way. It should not be that, you know, in, in that manner. It should be in pleasing manner one should present it. Akrodaha paraihi paraihi akrutasya abhihatasya va praptasya krodasya. Upashamanam. So Upashamanam, it is 
उपशमन इज मैनेज और कंट्रोल ऑफ वॉट पर आकृष्ट आकृष्ट से अभिहत से वा प्राप्त से क्रोध से क्रोध विच कम्स अबाउट बाय इधर पर आकृष्ट वेन यू नो कॉज्ड बाय अदर्स समथिंग विच इज कॉज्ड बाय अदर्स इज क्रोध क्रोध अटेंड बाय और अभिहत से If you are affected by something done by someone, or someone specifically causes that, then praptasya krodasya upashamanam. Then the anger that builds up, managing that, controlling that is a krodha. Further, tyagha. What is tyagha? Tyagha is sannyasa. So tyagha. Uh, I mean, no other word. which can explain that better sanyasa why why sanyasa because earlier dana has been given as a daivi sampat now dana and tyaga when you give up something that you have unto others that is dana then this this tyaga here will be what it is it is not dana it is not tyaga of something for the purpose of another it is sanyasa so he explains why sanyasa purvam danasya uktatvat it cannot be dana and it cannot fit into anything else because others are following shanti hi shamaha what is called as shamaha antakkaranasya upashamaha is shama or shanti hi so control of antakkarana Or your thoughts, thoughts run haywire. But when you want to process them, then process them. For to process them, sequence them, to conclude, you need buddhi to act. So buddhi should get space in the antakkarana. It can get space in the antakkarana. So only when the mind is under control. If the mind runs haywire, then the buddhi does not have space to weigh options and decide. So upashama, therefore, the control over antakkarana, whether it should act as a runaway mind or a buddhi, the buddhi has a say. That is shamaha there or shanti. Apayishunam, apayishunam is explained as apishunata. What is apishunata? first he explains what is paishunam or pishunata and then what is not pishunata or what is not paishunam is apaishunam what is that parasmai pararandra prakatikaranam paishunam prakatikaranam presenting something presenting what parasmai to others pararandra para is someone else's to show someone else's flaws to someone else meaning backbiting basically that is paishunam tada bhava means tasya paishunasya abhava apaishunam lack of backbiting lack of bickering you know what you did talk about others others flaws you present others flaws to someone else you know past time activity for many but that should not be done that is apaishunam daya दया इज जनरली कृपा सीन एज कृपा और भूतेशु दया भूतेशु कृपा दुखित नॉट नीड इट यू डोंट गो एंड नो देर इज नो कृपा नीडेड वेर इट इज नॉट नीडेड इट्स नॉट नीडेड बट दो आर दुखी देर यू नो यू पार्टेक ऑफ देर यू शेयर देर दुख विथ दया विथ कंपैशन अलोलुप्त वॉट इज अलोलुप्त इंद्रियाण विशेष निधो अविक्रिया वेन एवर समथिंग दैट वी लाइक सम विषय वी आर इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ दैट विषय देन देर इज सर्टन लेवल ऑफ क्रेविंग इफ यू लाइक दैट ऑब्जेक्ट यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस दैट ऑब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट देन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सच ऑब्जेक्ट दिस Samskara starts working 
it manifests as raga towards it and then after that there would be karma to attain that for bhoga that kind of a vikriya goes in the mind avoidance of that so avikriya in the mind so such a thought should not come to the mind as i want to have anubhava of this vishaya even in its presence vishay sannidho indriyanam vishay sannidho avikriya the indriyas should not undergo you know should not be drawn towards them even in their presence so that is karma karma will be for uh, vishay bhoga the karma is an interaction of the indriyas with the vishaya so if there is a thought which can be controlled antakarana so upashama asti chet then indriya vikara can be put a full stop to that is alolutvam what is mardavam mrudata mrudata means akrauryam not being cruel so being soft towards towards others so that is mardavam hri he is lajja so lajja is um, you know being shy so that is loka lajja generally called as loka lajja is hri achapalam what is achala achapalam asati prayojane vakpani padadinam avyapara itrutvam asati prayojane when there is no purpose one should not use the sense organs vakpani ityadi the organs of action should not be used without any purpose so you keep mauna if there is nothing to talk if there is nothing to do don't run around just for the heck of it so that's the idea there avyapar avyapar itrutvam asati prayojane when if there is a purpose you, there is some purpose you know go for a walk for health that's a purpose met but if there is no purpose you should not use your sense organs even uh, even uh, you know the, there are many resources to consume and when you have to consume the resources the vishayas being consumed as resources indriyas also get consumed this is why nachiketa turned down the offer of more and more bhoga he says i don't need it why he says indriyana jarayanti tejah all these vishayas will take away the strength of the indriyas i need it for a purpose i don't need it for some purpose purposeless indulgence so he gave those up so all these leads to vairagya finally so these are the second set of uh, daivi sampat in the second shloka the third set wants to take this i can take yeah yeah the madhriti sorry kariya yeah तेजक्षमादृति शौचम अद्रोहो नाति मानिता भवन्ति संपदं दैवी अभिजातस्य भारत जस्ट चैंट द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट क्वार्टर तेजक्षमादृति शौचम सो इट शुड नॉट बी तेजक्षमः दिस संधि व्हेन शकारा फॉलोस दिस विसर्ग शुड बी कंप्लीट ओके तेजः क्षमा dhruti shaucham to tejaha it should be tejaha here there's it's not pause but visarga this is the one of the rare places where visarga will be complete okay only when followed by this ksha kind this ksha okay. then the visarga should be complete not when ka kakara follows if it is just kakara it will be tejak tejak but then if it is after kakara if there is a shar following kakara mm-hmm. there is a shar following shar, shar, sir so that mm-hmm. shar letter following this visarga will be should be pronounced completely tejah shama dhruti shaucham adroho nati manita ityadi so tejah shama okay thank you okay yeah pada so, chida shama dhruti shaucham adroha nati manita bhavanti nati manita uh, is it single word 
Mm. No. Samasa, you will not get Nati Manita. It, uh, no. it can be, but it's a rare. It's not Nanj, Ati Manita. Uh, see, generally, you'll get, um, if it is um, Nanj, then you'll get Ana. If it is added, Nanj is added to a word which begins with a vowel, then you will get. Uh, you will get ana. So here you don't get ana. Uh, nunge. It is not nunge then. It is some other na. So it's okay. Yeah. Nati manita. Okay. Then? Bhavanti sampadam daivin abhijatasya bharata. So abhijatasya. Bhavanti. Bharata, yeah. uh, so bhavanti he bharata. Bhavanti what? The, all this abhijatasya. All these. Daivim Sampadam Bhavanti. So you can just add that all this which has gone by. Sorry, Bhavanti. Daivim Sampadam Bhavanti. All this can be added as. A list from the earlier verse onwards. So on mm -hmm. this word, Daivim Sampad Sampadam Bhavanti. He Bharata. So for Abhijatasya. Abhijatasya Bhavanti. Abhijatasya. We will see in the Bhashya here. Abhijatasya Bhagavan Bhashyakara says as. The general meaning is one who is, uh, you know, born face abhi abhijata. So abhijata abhitaha jata jata se tasya. So uh, one who is um, generally, you know, generally who is uh, born facing these divine qualities. For him, you'll he he'll have all of these. So. One who is qualified rather. So Tejaha, what is Tejaha? Pragal Bhyam Natvagata Deeptihi. So Tejaha, when it is related to a person, if it is a quality, you see right? the person has a lot of Tejas. So he's a Tejasvi person. So Tejasvi means what? Teja Asyasti Tejasvi. So a person is Tejasvi. He has some shine, and that shine is on the skin. It is, it is visible. So there. He says it is not Tvagata Deepti. It is not that shining which is attained by the skin, which is you know seen on the skin, but it is Pragalbhyam. Pragalbhyam is maturity. So that maturity shines forth. That's what it means. It is not literal Deepti. Kshamaha. Kshas, sorry, not Kshama. Kshama. What is Kshama? Kshama is Akrushtasya Taditasiva. So if you are it's a person who is scolded or is beaten. So, Akrushtasya Taditasya Va Antar Vikri Vikriyanutpattihi. So, Shama generally we say was forbearance, but fortitude or uh, accommodation. Puja Swami's word was accommodation. So, or what it really here it means, if you look at the meaning, Antar Vikriyanutpatti means. Absence of reaction from even within. One may control and not express it outside. But then when one is scolded or beaten, it is for a sadhaka, I mean, you can't uh, really uh, follow this in Vyavahara unless you're a sadhaka. Even as a sadhaka, it's very difficult to have this kind of a so uh, good, uh, good amount of background, <laughs> background today. So, Akrushta se Tadita seva Antar Vipyanut Pattihi. Let me just close the window. Okay. So, so there is a reaction within, you know, you know. What, what should I, how should I give it back? That should not take place. So that Antar Vikriyanutpatti is Shama. And it is 
countered with krodha which has come up earlier so there was krodha here what was krodha paraihi akrushtasya abhyatasya va praptasya krodhasya upashamanam so the anger comes up but that anger coming up and being controlled that is akrodha but here utpannayam vikriyayam upashamanam akrodha iti avocham that has already been explained as the krodha which comes up when it when it is said you know control your anger it is not that the anger doesn't come up it takes a takes a lot for the anger itself to not come up there may be anger but you don't act upon it that is akrodha so there you you know there are ways to control your anger so utpannayam vikriyayam upashamanam akrodha iti avocham that we have already mentioned he says but itham shamaya akrodhasya cha vishesha the difference between akrodha and shama is here there is no antar vikriyanutpatti even the thought that what i should do that doesn't come up that is a difference from the situation is similar but that is a difference between uh this and kshama and akrodha further dhriti hi what is dhriti hi dehendriyeshu avasadam prapteshu tasya pratishedakah antakarana vritti vishesha so it's an antakarana vritti vishesha dhriti fortitude generally we say it's fortitude what is it it's a antakarana vritti vishesha some kind of a change in the antakarana and what is that dehindriyeshu avasadam prapteshu whenever avasada is uh, prapteshu satyam so whenever there is in dehindriyeshu sati saptami dehindriyeshu avasadam prapteshu satsu whenever there is you know wearing out wearing out or you know the indriyas are tired dehindriyas the body and sense organs are tired तस्य अंतकरण सो इवन व्हेन द बॉडी माइंड सेंस कॉम्प्लेक्सेस टायर्ड स्टिल यू कंटिन्यू डूइंग व्हाट नीड्स टू बी डन दैट इज धृति ही सो होल्ड योर फोल्ड ये न उत्तम उत्तम कर्णानि देहश्च न अवसीदंती सो रिजल्टेंट ऑफ दैट इज the tired sense organs you no know, which are tired with this dhriti hi once you have dhriti then what happens in uttam bhitani this antakarana vritti vishesha is pulling up explanation for dhriti which is feeling up so tasya pratishedakah antakarana vritti vishesha that is dhriti so yena antakarana vritti vishesha pratishedaka antakarana vritti visheshena uttambitani karanani dehashchan avasidanti they do not give up the body mind sense complex continue to so be serve as a tool they can continue to serve as instruments to whatever duty you are serving that is fortitude dhriti saucham what is saucham dvividam it's of two types mrujjala krutam bahyam abhyantaram cha so two types of saucham are bahya and abhyantara external and internal external saucha bahya is how through mrut and jala so using mrut mrut is these days soap so using soap and jala water that is bahya saucha abhyantaram so what is in internal mano udyoho nairmalyam the purity of the mind and intellect is abhyantara saucha what is that maya ragaadi kalushya bhavah so nairmalyam means absence of 
impurity what kind of impurity this kalusya abhava absence of impurities in the form of maya ragadi maya we have seen earlier deception etc so uh, deception or raga dvesha ityadi all these adipadena evam dvividam shaucham this is the two types of cleanliness adrohaha what is adroha para jighaam saab bhavah ahimsanam so ahimsa has come out earlier but here it is what it is a particular kind of there it was said as para peeda varjanam should not trouble others here it is para jighaam saab bhavah that kind of ahimsanam so this is um, you know not even having adro is not even having an intention to hurt others so not having an intention to hurt others is adroha while not hurting others is ahimsanam so both adroha you should not within there should not be an intention to hurt others so these are you know there there is a certain overlap among these although they are treated separately and that's why bhagwan bhashakar is trying to separate these but we'll have some overlap in our mind nati manita what is nati manita atyartham manah atimanah so atyartham manah having excessive pride is atimanah sah yasya vidyate sa atimani so atimanah asya asti iti atimani one who has atimana so matu parte ini pratya will give you atimani tadabhava atimanita so not having what tadabhava tadabhava is not atimaniya bhava tadabhava is atimanah bhava not having atimanah is tad sorry tad bhava not tadabhava tad bhava tad bhava is atimani manah bhava is atimanita or give me a moment atyarthamana atimana sayasya vidyate sa atimani ya atim atimani tasya bhava tasya bhava atiman one who is atimani atimaninaha bhavah ini pratyanta so he is quality you know what is the quality of a person who has atimana he will have atimanita tada bhavah nati manita so one who does not have atiman manita one who does not have actually atimana so it is you know going round about and trying to understand because here atimanita what has been used nati manita so you have to understand what is atimanita and then add na to it so you get nati manita but what is atimanita atimanita is a property a quality of a an atimani who is an atimani atimanah asya asti iti atimani so one who has pride and that status of pride is what he has that is a quality and tadabhava is nati manita and it is explained further as what this is just the definition derivation what is the meaning finally atmanah pujyata atishaya bhavana bhava ityartha so bhavana abhava not having you know an expectation of respect or things like that so so pujyata pujyata here is what being you know what kind of excessively you feel that you know uh, you claim the respect a person claims a respect you know as much as you know being worship worthy so not having that kind of an attitude is nati manita bhavanti abhayadini etadantani sampadam abhijatasya bhavanti so all this is there for here um, i don't know really how to translate abhijata so here abhijatasya it is um, you know one who has these kind of already born with these bhavanti abhayadini etadantani sampadam abhijata because the sampatti which one has one may 
you know cultivate them later but then one who is abhi jata here is already qualified so one who is already qualified will have these and then you mimic those so once you mimic those then they are the sampat to be earned then kim vishishtam sampadam daivi what is what kind of sampat is this daivi and what is daivi devanam ya sampat tam abhilaksha jatasya so abhilaksha jatasya he explains that is abhilaksha jatasya deva vibhutyarhasya bhavi kalyanasya ityartha so what does this mean one who is an adhikari already an adhikari he is not someone he is not someone who has you know has earned it later he is not someone who has built these up later but who is born with adhikaritva kind of an uttam adhikari who is born for this very purpose of liberation he would already have these qualities so taking him as a as a prime example it has been explained by krishna that abhijata se one who is that kind of you know you say that is an idol an ideal and also an idol you know he is my idol you say so then you follow as an ideal and then gain you know we start mimicking that what should i have to become like him these are the sampat so what are those they are called as daivi sampat meaning deva naam ya sampat those which are there in devas the devas is their divine qualities which gods have so if you have to translate daivi means divine ya sampat those which you know that's a wealth that they have wealth of qualities really tam abhilaksha tam abhilaksha means having face those jatas one who is born facing those very qualities within himself deva vibhutyarhasya who is deserving of you know although human but you know you treat him as god there are many who are you know you feel that uh, you are you feel that that person is not a human you know it's he deserves to be worship that kind of a status the person deserves so deva vibhuti arhasya one who fits the qualities vibhutis of devas who who should get devata padvi that kind of a human being bhavi kalyanasya one who who would definitely get kalyana here is in sense of moksha so one who would definitely get moksha in this likely to get moksha in this life very life that kind of a person what qualities would he have those are these daivi sampat that is the word used to Uh, i mean abhijata is a word used to explain that kind of a person who is already born with these qualities he does not have to struggle to get those he has them in a very great measure he is an abhijata bhavi kalyana and deva vibhuti arha that kind of person is abhijata and tasya abhijatasya daivi daivim sampat this daivi sampad or sampadam kim vishishtam sampadam this is that uh, sampatti set of sampatti in the earlier three verses next who wants to take this i will try okay okay try yeah ma'am okay atha idanim asuri sampat uchyate so now after completing the daivi sampat now asuri sampat is being talked about dambho darpo dambho darpo ti manascha krodah parushya mevacha agnyanam cha bijatasya partha sampad masuri okay so dambaha darpaha अभिमान च क्रोध पारुषम एव च अज्ञान मे बी देयर पार्ट ऑफ इट आई एम नॉट श्योर अतिमान और अभिमान को भी अभिमानस्य अभिमान 
अभिमान इज इट ओके वी हैव अतिमान सेम मीनिंग ओके अतिमान ओके क्रोधः पारुषम एव च अज्ञानम च अभिजातस्य पार्थ संपदम आसुरीम सो व्हाट इज आसुरी संपत्ति हियर दीस आर मिस आसुरीम संपत संपदम सो आसुरीम संपदम इज दिस दंभः दर्पः अतिमानः क्रोधः पारुष्यम अज्ञानम अभिजातस्य सो अभिजातस्य अर्लियर वाज वाज वन हु वाज क्वालिफाइड एज अ देव बोर्न एज अ ह्यूमन बीइंग सो क्वालिफाइड एज अ देव इन मींस हैड द क्वालिटीज ऑफ देव बट बोर्न एज अ ह्यूमन बिकॉज़ ही इज बेटर देन द देव रियली बिकॉज़ ही डज ही हैज has chosen mukti over bhoga in this swargaloka here abhijata is also qualified but qualified not for daivi sampad asurim abhijatasya so asurim abhijatasya uh, uh, this is one who is qualified for that kind of a uh, janma but born as a human that is asuri sampad there so dambaha what is dambaha dharma dhujitvam showing showing off showing off that i have these kind of qualities so that is dambaha generally we say you know uh, it is uh, but here not having that dharma but showing off so you know have a little but show off more so that is hypocrisy so damba is that kind of a hypocrisy where you showcase more than you have so here damba dvajit is damba eva dharma sorry dharma eva dvaja damba is dharma dvajitvam and dharma is dharma eva dvaja that itself becomes dharma becomes a flag and you wave that flag in front of others so so how has this word been formed dharma ha ध्वज अस्ति धर्मध्वजी एंड तस्य भावः धर्मध्वजित्वम् देन फर्दर दर्पः व्हाट इज दर्पः दर्प इज थिंकिंग यू नो योर सेल्फ एज अ is more not worship worthy but you know deserving more deserving but this will contrast with the earlier sampat where you know even uh, you should not be thinking high of yourself so here it is there it was you know, more of modesty here it is lack of that so darpa is what vidya dhana swajanaadi nimitta utsekaha so it's an utsekaha it is um, so pride particular kind of a pride which is what has a nimitta what kind of nimitta vidya dhana or swajana you know do you know who am i connected to so that is swajana and adipada you know everything else you know all sorts of uh, uh, pride related to everything you know how much qualified i am so that kind of a thought dhana obviously that is very well known so pride regarding any of these due to any of these utseka is pride due to any of these due to anything actually that is dharpah atimanah purvoktah so it has been mentioned earlier where it was mentioned na atimanita in that so this is atimana has already been explained so it does not repeat that krodascha krodha also has been explained so krodha earlier akrodha he had explained krodha so this this person has this krodha parushyam parushyam evacha what is parushyam purusha vachanam yatha kaanam chakshuman virupam rupavan heena abhijanam uttama abhijanah ityadi so what are this parush parushyam here is purusha vachanam purusha vachanam here particularly it is harsh language you know harsh language to others that is parushyam 
sorry uh, i said purusha parusha vachanam so it is parushyam is parusha vachanam it is not paurushyam it is parushyam parushyam is parusha vachanam what is parusha vachana is statement parusha is harsh harsh or you know, ha- something which is hurtful language i will give him back in a in the same tone you know you get even if you uh, <laughs> puja swami ji or acharya ji you know you you talk about me in a fight you bring some that person's parents then you include that person's family so it keeps on growing so it you know topping it up at uh, with another layer just to hurt the person with words so that is parusha vachana so parushyam is parusha vachana yatha kaanam chakshuman virupam rupavan heena abhijanam uttama abhijanah ityadi but here it is it is sarcastic you know here it is sarcastic so it is not really uh, bringing others and uh, you know trying to see but it is sarcastically talking about someone so if someone who is who does not uh, you know hear well or does not uh, hear well does not see well so here kaana so yeah squint eye or you know does not see well you call that person chakshush you know chakshushman oh he has got a 2020 vision or you know your eyes are very beautiful you don't mean it you want to basically hurt that person with harsh language or for whatever reason you use harsh language then virupam somebody who is not you know good to look at but you call that person you are beautiful just you know not to please the person it is that person knows that you don't mean it it is not you know you know to comfort the person it is to tease that person that kind of your is parushyam kinaabhi janam uttamaabhi jana ityadi and then again you know talking to someone who has a very bad family background to that kind of person you see oh, you know you got an excellent family and all that he knows you also know it isn't true but then you tease that person that is parushyam ajnanancha what is ajnana aviveka jnanam kartavya kartavyaadi vishaya mithya pratyaha it's a mithya pratyaha ajnana is mithya pratyaha so it's a it's a false vritti that is ajnana it is not jnana vritti it is not in keeping with the vastu it is mithya in keeping with mithya so mithya pratyaha and what is the vishaya kartavya akartavyaadi what should be done what should what should not be done so there is aviveka regarding what should be done what should not be done that is ajnana abhijatasya partha he partha prithuputra abhijatasya kim abhijatasya iti what is this who you know who has a potential who is born with that kind of potential sampadam abhijatasya kim abhijatasya sampadam is second case it is why is it second case abhijatasya sampadam abhijatasya he is born facing this this sampatti sampat here is three linga so here daivim sampadam so daivim sampadam abhijatasya bhavanti so we should say all of this it will be more clear if you add it here maybe so daivim sampadam abhijatasya these bhavanti so instead of what how how is the manner in which it, it is put it is not being said that these are the qualities which are daivi sampat it has been said that one who has daivi sampat he has these so that is how it is explained daivim sampadam abhijatasya etani bhavanti all these tejah kshama driti shocha starting with the first words there all of those are there for a person who is born facing these who ha- is who facing meaning who is ba- born with these within he already has these daivi sampat so that's why it's a second case here also it's the same way it has been explained kim abhijatasya facing what is he born 
Sampadam, what kind of sampatti? Asuri sampatti. What is Asurim sampatti? Asuranam idam Asurim. Tadjita vritti is we mentioned. Asuranam idam is Asurim. It would be not idam, it would be iam. So, strilingi, Asurim. So, it is Asuri sampatti is that which is Asuranam iam. Asuranam idam is Tadjita vritti. Tesham idam, tasseidam. Actually, it is tadita vritti, tasseidam. Sammanda. Tadita is a sammanda. Then, what kind of sammanda, what kind of uh, connection is there that is explained by replacing that tat pronoun with something which is a noun? So, here, asuranam, tasseidam. Tasse here is asuranam. In bhavachana, there. Asuras have this. What is this? Sampat. What is idam there? Idam is iam really. It is sampat, strilinga. That becomes asuri. So as tasya idam is the vritti there, which pratyaya should be used. That will be mentioned. And you have to replace that with the template is tasya idam. You replace based on what has to be filled in, in which gender. And then you change the pronoun accordingly. So it will become tesham iam, tesham kesham asurana. Em, what is that Em? Em ka sampat. Then that is Asuri. That's the definition. Then you landed on the word. Then second case, Tam. Tam Asurim. Tam Asurim Abhijata Sekcharta. One who is born facing these. Who wants to take the next? Yeah, I will take. <coughs> Anayoho sampado karyam ucchate. Anayoho. Anayoho. Sampadoho. Karyam Uchati. What is the result of these Daivi and who have been talked about? Daivi and Asuri. What is the resultant of these? That is being mentioned here in the next word. What is that? Yeah. Daivi, Daivi Sampadvi Mokshaya. Vibandhya Suri Mata. Vibandhyaya Suri Mata. Mashucha Sampadam Daivim Abhijato Si Pandava So he Pandava Si Pandava Daivim Daivim uh, Sampat Vimokshaya Then Nimandhaya Asuri Mata Ma Shuchaha Sampadam Daivim Abhijataha Asi Pandava So, he, he Pandavas, uh, here because it is not all first case anymore. Yeah, yeah. So, he Pandava is Sambodhana. Asi is uh, uh, Vitiya Vekachana. <clears throat> so, okay, this is, this is Sambodhana. Yeah. Asi yeah. is the uh, verb. So, it will be Vitiya Vekachana. <laughs> yeah. Then, Daivim Sampat. They will Not be here. Uh, this thing you have to say, uh, Madhyama Purusha. Uh, yeah, Madhyama Purusha. Not with here. I'm sorry. Always uh, Madhyama Purusha. Equation. Daivi is uh, Prathama. Equation. Sampat is also Prathama. Equation. Vimokshaya is uh, Chaturthi. Equation. Nibandhaya is also Chaturthi. Equation. Asuri is Prathama. Equation. Mata. Mata is actually Avyaya. It's not an OVA. Mataha is. I took it as a Prathama equation also. This Prathama equation only. There is no OVA there. Mataha is not OVA. Ma is an OVA. Ma is OVA. And Suchaha is again Prathama equation. It's not a Prathama equation, sir. It's a word. Ma Suchaha do not grieve. Yeah, okay. Ma Suchaha is a verb there. It's actually Asuchaha, Mangi Lung. So Mangi Lung is used. It's a Lung Lakara, very difficult Lakara. That's right, take it, sir. And Mangi Lung, uh, be because of Mang Yoga, Mang is Ma this, do, don't. So Mang, Nyakara is an it letter. Mangi Lung Prayoga Bhavati. So Lung should Lung Lakara should be used when Mang has to be used. And when okay. Mang is used, when you use Lung, then there is this uh, Adagama does not come in. Ad and Ad. 
लुंगलंगशु अड़ उदात्त एंड देन अजादी नाम आड़ 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 अजादी नाम दैट इज दूत्र देर बट देन न मांग योगी सो वेन देर इज मांग योग देन न मांग योगी मांगी लुंग इज वन सूत्र वेर यूल गेट लुंग वाई शुड लुंग बी यूज एंड इन विच मीनिंग लुंग इज जनरली यूज इन पास टेंस बट हियर इट इज नॉट पास टेंस वॉट इज इज डू नॉट ग्रीव वाई लुंग लुंग इज भूत है but when it is mangi lung then it is not bhute it is what it is just plain mang goes with mang what is the meaning it shuddha dhatu artha what does shucha mean the soch the dhatu means to grieve here yeah. ma means don't so it will just mean do not grieve it will not have the lung lakara bhute meaning it will just because of mang yoga you have used lung and in lung ashucha should be the form Lung lakara is ashu. You will not find such a form in the uh, in any declension. If you open a dhatu rupa manjari, you will not Thank find such a. Why? Because it is a has not been added. Why it has not been added? Only because ma is used. Okay. So okay. that's the rule there. So what is such a here? It is madhya purusha ekocha. Madhya purusha ekocha. Lung lakara. Yeah. Mention here, lung lakara, lung lakara, and angi lung. No, so angi lung. Look at these sutras if you're interested. So angi. So the angi yoga, adagama, adagama is not there. Further, what sampadam? What is sampadam? Sampadam is dvitiya. Dvitiya. Right. Abhijata. See, so he says you are abhijata. Yeah. So you are abhijata. Kim abhijata si? Abhijata si a first set or second set bhavati, bhavanti. So all these, all these qualities, sampat. All these sampat are there. Group of qualities are there. For whom? For abhijata. What kind of abhijata? Is there daivi abhijata? Daivi abhijata. If one who is daivi ma abhijata, then he will have the one set of pratyas, one set of uh, qualities. Sampat. The other who is abhijata facing these uh, asuri, then he will have those these kind of qualities which have been listed. So first three or the fourth, fourth sloka set. Yeah. Then he says, now you don't grieve. Why? Hey Pandava, you are daivi ma bhi jata. You are not asuri ma bhi jata. So you have no reason to grieve. You have what he is saying is that you don't have damba, darpa, ati mana, krodha, parushyam, adhyana. None of these you have. Why? Because you are daivi ma bhi jata. You have the earlier abhaya mityadi, starting with abhaya and ending with. Uh, ending with these uh, nati manita, so you have these qualities, says Bhagwan Krishna to Arjuna. So you don't grieve about it. Asuri is nibandhaya, and why would he grieve? Okay, he has krodha ityadi. No, if you have it, then Asuri bonds nibandhaya. What kind of chaturthi? Hmm. What is this kind of chaturthi called? Anyone? We have enough uh, uh, bandwidth in this chapter, you know. This and maybe the seventeen chapter. There is not much of Vedanta to discuss there, so we have to refresh these uh, grammar. It is sampradana only. Sorry. It is sampradana only. Sampradana. What does sampradana mean? Sampradana is means recipient. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is the uh, bondage the recipient? No, the person is the recipient. Oh, okay. Uh, then it will be. Uh... Sampradana is is uh, karaka artha of chaturthi, all right. But that's why what kind of chaturthi? Not sampradana chaturthi. What kind of chaturthi then? Then uh, the what other of... chaturthi do you know? Purpose of action. Yeah, that is chaturthi. 
Adarti Chaturti Nibandaya. So it is already been given. Anayoho Sampado Karya Muchati. What is a Karya? Karya is Nibandana and Vimoksha. That is the purpose. So Tadarti Chaturti. Kayuri Sampat Vimokshaya Bhoti. So what is the Anvaya here? We we'll stop with the Anvaya. Yeah. Kayuri Sampat. Okay. Sampat Vimokshaya. Sampat Vimokshaya Asuri. Uh, okay. So it's considered. What is considered? Daivi Sampat is considered to be for moksha, moksha, vimoksha, vishesha moksha. Not the other types of moksha where you know you get the sarupya, saloka, ityadi, none of those. Then Asuri, Asuri Sampat. Nibandanaya, sorry, Nibandaya, Nibandaya, Matai, But you, he, Pandava, from Sampadam, Daivim, 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 Abhijatosi, from Daivim, Sampadam, Abhijatosi, Jatosi. Master. Therefore, ityataha, you can say ataha ma sucha. sucha. Okay. So don't worry about it. He says, meaning what? You have the Ivi Sampat and that leads to moksha. So you are well qualified for moksha. That's what Bhagavan Krishna says. We'll look at this in the next part. Huh? I'll leave some space there so that you can continue. Narayana Parovyakta Dhandam Avyakta Sambhu Mandasyanta Sumiloka Saptad Dvipa Chamedini. Any questions? I had a question. Yeah. Uh, in that uh, third shloka on where? Third shloka? Third yeah. shloka? Okay. Yeah. So we are ending with uh, Daivim Sampadam Abhijatasya Bhavanti. So Bhavanti and Daivim all, Sampad of, all, all of these Bhavanti. Yeah, but Bhavanti, I thought, will only take Karta. So Daivim Sampadam will be uh, in Tritya Vibhakti Pratama Purusha. Yeah, Teja, teja Bhavati. So we we'll say Tasya Teja Bhavati. That person has Teja. Right? You remember your question that how do you translate I had, he has? How do you translate Vishashti? In Sanskrit, how do you write it? Vishashti. That person has, what does he have? He have te, he has Tejaha, Shama, Dhriti, Shaucham, Adroha. Who is that? He is Abhijata. Abhijata means born with or facing, born facing something. Born with qualities. We'll just say born with. What are those? Daivim Sampat. So Daivim Sampadam Abhijatasya Kim Bhavati. Kim Kim Bhavanti. Tejaha, Shama, Dhriti, Shaucham, Adroha. And dot 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 means all that is listed in the earlier two shlokas. Are you with me? Okay. Okay. Getting it right? Why so? Uh, so, so the. No, how do you see? How do you say that person has it in Sanskrit? Dasharatha has a putra. How do you say it in Sanskrit? Thirsty only will say. Dasharatasya, Dasharatasya, Ramaha, Putra, Bhavati. Similarly, the Abhijata has Tejaha. How do you say it? Abhijata si Tejaha Bhavati. And if there are multiple, you say Bhavanti. That's it. Yeah, but my question was, why is Daivim and Sampadam in in Dvitiya uh, Ekochana? Because it's a karma to Abhijata. Abhi, Abhitaha, facing. Ah, okay. Facing what? Okay. So, see, when you are born, Let's say, okay, you're born with some qualities, right? You didn't, you are facing those, right? So you say that I have to face these. You don't have to face it. I, my antakkarana, I am facing. You are not facing. Mm. So you know what you're facing. So that, what do you know? You know karma. So it's a vishaya, it's a, it's a karma to you. So for this abhija, one who is jata, one who is born, he is facing, abhi is in that sense, facing. 
वॉट इज ही फेसिंग सी अभिमुखा वॉट इज अभिमुखा अभिमुखा इज फेसिंग समथिंग पर्सन हू इज फेसिंग अभिमुखा दिस वर्ड हेज कम अप अर्लियर ऑल्सो भगवान भाषे कर सेज यू नो वाय डज ही भगवान कृष्ण से समथिंग टू अर्जुन टू ड्रॉ दिज अटेन्शन सो दैट ही इज अभिमुखा ही इज टर्न टूवर्ड्स यू टर्न टूवर्ड्स कृष्ण turn this is mind is turned otherwise it it's elsewhere he may be thinking about lot of things that has uh, that have been taught so he says you know pay attention why does he say pay attention because to make him abhimukha face the teacher there so here it is similar abhijata is born facing that abhi is facing something what what is he facing he is facing his own qualities what are those daivim sampatam therefore second case okay okay संपत् is trilinga yes yes mata mata is trilinga because daivi sampati is trilinga okay so considered mata so considered bhute 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 what will get nishtha ta tavatu nishtha bhute it is in bhuta bhuta kala so considered man is to consider so mata mat mata so nakara goes away you get mata mata or mata in trilinga Ajad yata shtap, so you'll get tap up pratya there, and you, mata will become mata. So mata, what is considered daivi? So therefore, since daivi and sampat are strilinga, mata will be strilinga. But here these are have... considered for moksha. These are considered to be for moksha. But for whom, right? I mean, this is karmani prayoga of mata. No, not karmani prayoga. Um, you see, it is karmani vyutpatti. they are considered so if i say they are considered right mm. so if i say that it is in past tense mm-hmm. it's not that you consider by whom you can ask so you can say that it's karmani you can say by whom by everyone mm-hmm. so when the karta is not important need not be supplied right karmani prayoga what is important karma is important what is karma daivi sampat you can also say this uh, all these this daivi sampat whatever has been said these daivi sampat are considered to be for moksha now when i say that these are you know they are considered or i just say you know they are said to be useful for moksha by whom you can ask but then that is not important hmm. right so that's why karta is not supplied when is karta not supplied when the intention is not to focus on the karta you want to f- karmani prayoga is when karma is pradhana i want to focus on i want the listener to focus on daivi sampat that becomes the karma that is considered as being for moksha now by whom i actually not by everyone by those who know so by vivekina ha so if you say you have to supply you will say viveki vihi mata so that you can add that mata kai hi so you can add there you can you can say viveki vihi viveki vihi or you can say by dharmikas whoever knows uh, what if it was uh, krishna's statement it is then it will be mai mataha uh, mai mataha me mataha not me sorry me mataha it is my opinion that is different my my if you say me mata that is also fine if you ask by whom you were considered by whom but if you say my mata it will not be my mata it is not because mata is daivi so if he says me matam you can say me matam if you say me mata then me mata means me devi sampat my devi sampat he is not saying my devi sampat it is not sambandha there hmm. iti so if mata you remove you say daivi sampat vimoksha iti me mati hi iti me matam that you can say but okay. you already have the word mata so it is karmani okay okay 
he has used earlier me mati hi so or in the last shloka uh, sanjay will say right uh, what is the last shloka yatra partho dhanurdarah so yatra yogeshwar krishna yatra partho dhanur tatra shri vijay bhuti then he says that iti matir mama so there mama mati so me mati hi mama mati it is my opinion bhagwan krishna says it many times me mati me mati this is not like that this is mata daivi sampat mata it's considered by whom that can be supplied if it is needed if you if there is an akanksha then you can supply viveki bhi or dharmikai or jnani bhi all that can be mentioned here if there is an akanksha it is not supplied because the focus is daivi sampat Okay. Yeah, my problem probably still is that uh, the uh, the feminine is being used because it is uh, related to a feminine word, uh, but I don't see a samana di karanya or something like that. Why oh, it is? It is in samana di karanya. Consider, see, see, it is a predication, right? If I say, okay, let me just say. Uh, Okay, you want to say um, this? Okay, this uh, takes some. This this person is a great actor, or mm-hmm. is considered to be a great actor. The person. Okay, let's say uh, you say that. Uh, let's take an Amitabh Bachchan is a is a great is considered as a great actor. Is that a valid construct in English? Yeah. Now we'll not use the modern word. We'll use the old. Uh, old school english okay not a uh, gender neutral uh, word as actor for women also now you say jaya badri is wife is also considered as a great what actor Thank Thank why you. actress okay considered as an actress now that considered word itself does not have a linga in english yeah but that is what here it is considered so therefore considered itself will take a different gender Mm. now in, for example in sanskrit you say she did something there will you say krutavan krutavat or krutavati sa krutavati mm. so she did it so krutanta although it is a verb equivalent can be a verb equivalent it will still take linga mm-hmm. okay okay and being predicated to samana nikarana kamata yulas ku who is considered that's why you saying who is considered when you say who is considered there in samana adhikaran krutanta will take the same gender of or yeah. now let's say i want to make a different construct you try it this way other way so this predication is difficult you try it as a visheshana so you say that these people who were considered to be you know, great actors Mm-hmm. or this pers- this man who was considered as a great actor or this woman who was con- considered as a great actor so considered as a great actress as a entire phrase is is a visheshana it's an adjective mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so here also it will be when you say you know uh, daivi sampat which was considered which is con- by whom if you say viveki bihi mataya daivi sampat if you say viveki bihi मता या दैवी संपत सा अहम इच्छा सो एन यू से आई डिजायर दैट संपत विच इज कंसिडर्ड बाय विवेक इज एज दैवी संपत हाउ विल यू मेक दैट कंसिडर सो दैट टाइम इट इज क्लियर दैट देर या मता या दैवी संपत मता सो देर दैवी संपत एंड मता विल बी सीन इन दी इन सामान अधिकरण Okay. 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 so there tam is in samana nikarane always different case but then mata is going as a qualification as an adjective to daivi sampat 
Okay. Yeah. So Viveki Vihi Mata Devi Sampat Ahamichami. So then you can convert all these into second case also. You can say Viveki Vihi Matam Daivim Sampadam Ahamichami. You don't even need to supply Tam then. So there mm -hmm. it is more clear. All are in the same case and then whichever case Daivi decline in declines in Sampadam and Daivim. Daivi is qualifying Sampad. Similarly, Mata, if you say Viveki Bhi Mata, then that will also qualify Daivi Sampad. Then all, all of them will take the same case as the Sampad. So if it becomes a Karma, then Mata will also become Matam. Viveki Bhi Matam Daivim Sampadam Ahamichami. Is it clearer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything else? Anyone else? I had uh, one last uh, thing. Yeah. This more Vedanta related. So, um, this Trishti Shishti Vada and Shishti Vishti Vada, <laughs> can we use it uh, to, yeah, that is my <laughs> long standing topic. So, when we are doing Manana, mm. then the the prakriya will always be drishti shishti vada because you tend to you never go into the shishti drishti vada prakriya when you're doing manana right it's not true that's not true for everyone many people will not consider drishti shishti see what is drishti shishti you have to start by saying that you know i see therefore it exists yeah but is it so? When people do manana, they don't do it that way. The entire prakriya is different. There you say, Ishwara created this prapancha. I see that he created my body mind sense complex also. I'm associated with it. And for whatever karma I did. And then it says, Tattvamasi, he is as a karana is not different. Well, karya is not different from the karana Ishwara. I am also not different from Ishura. He is said to be only one sentient entity, which happens to be me as well. So what he has created is for my purpose. He, everything exists as not different from me. I am also not different from him. Then what he has created, therefore looking at the creation, he is the creator. Now, what is the difference between me and him? He is the creator. I am not the creator. That's a huge difference between Drishti Srishti Vada and Srishti Drishti Vada. He is the creator. I am a participant. I am not the creator. I may be the creator of my dream world, but I am not the creator of the waking world. You see a world. I see a world. You see the world. I see the world. It becomes an objective reality. You see a world in your dream. I see a world in my dream. It's a different reality. It's subjective. That is Srishti Drishti Vada. Then, what is the manana there for the Srishti Drishti Vada? He will say that this created world is because I have karma at you. I am interacting with it. But once I learn that the created is never different from the creator, created is just an, just an appearance of the creator. The creator pervades the creation. Then I know that he pervades me also as me. As Shruti reveals, Anena Jeevatmana Anupravishya. He entered the Sharira as Jeeva. So that that is me, that Ishwara. There is no difference between him and me. There is only one sentience. Then the created being Mithya, creator being the Sat, Tattvamasi, that you are. So if that I am, that Ishwara I am, how can there be Aikya? Then you remove the contradictory attributes by Bhagatyaga Lakshana, Jahadaja Lakshana, and then you land on Aikya, which is Satchitananda. I am existent, Ishwara is existent. I am Chetana Vastu. I don't need anyone to tell me that. I know that I am existent. So the Guru need not teach me that you are existent. I know I am existent. He need not teach me that I am sentient. I know that I am conscious entity. Ananda may have, there be a may be a difficulty. Perhaps you will not have that difficulty because you already have the name Ananda. So then you further you go there, that, that gets resolved. So Satchidananda Tattva is same between the Lord and me. Whatever is different is Upadi Bheda. 
जस्ट लाइक घटाकाशा एंड महाकाशा हैव नो भेदा देर नाम मात्र भेदा देन देर इज वननेस एंड देर इज ओनली वननेस देर इज नथिंग एल्स वंस यू लैंड ऑन इट देन देन मिथ्यात्व निश्चय इज देर ऐक्य निश्चय इज देर दैट इज मोक्ष इफ वन कैन रिजॉल्व ऑल दी डाउट एंड स्टे इन दैट तत्व There is nothing about drishti shruti vada here at all. Drishti shruti vada prakriya is different. There, I am in manana. I don't need any of this. There is only one sentient entity, which the shruti says is Ishara, who is the creator of the world. Just like I am the creator of the dream, this entire prapancha is my creation. But then there will be doubts as to what about the others? Did you create others also? Yes. The way I create in the dream. there are no others it's the same manifestation of me as others including this body mind sense complex i am not i as the body mind sense complex identified with the body mind sense complex i am not the creator that is not the creator in dream also it's the same sentient entity who is dreaming as a creator of the dream takes a body and has other bodies as well around Similar, uh, yeah. speaking, that is drishti shruti vada. Manana is completely different between the two. There can be a last step. Of course, there last step, drishti shruti vada can be a bridging between aikya and a shruti drishti vada. That is a possibility. I argue this, but not everyone agrees to it. So, which is okay. I mean, there is no compulsion that one has to go through drishti shruti vada. But it is possible to make samanvaya between the two by saying that the srishti drishti vadin in the last step goes through drishti srishti vada, because he says that uh, that Ishara is me. Finally, when he says that, if he just says that sentience is me, satchidananda is me, it does not need to have uh, the step of drishti srishti vada. So, if I understand correctly, the The Shristi Vadin skips these steps and is already at this point where there is no need for Ishara because he is identifying with. Not that there is no need for Ishara. Ishara is there, but Ishara is always abhinna. See, Ishara is what Jagat Karta is. Ishara without Ishara you cannot have anything. So Jagat Karta is Ishara, but in Shristi Shristi Vada, Shristi Shristi Vada goes from the Shruti. It does. It, see, you know, in in problem solving, you have bottom up and you know top down approaches. You have all all of these approaches possible, right? You can go from the grassroots and you know build up micro to macro. Other way is top down approach. So, however you resolve it, the solution has to be the same. Here it's the same thing. Wherever you start, LHS to RHS or RHS to LHS, as long as you can find a solution, it is a solution nonetheless, and it will be same. The thing is. The drishti shruti vadin does not start with the world at all. He starts with the shruti, which says that aikya, there is aikya. Ish, you are Ishara. He starts there. He takes it literally. What is the problem of taking of taking it literally? Also, there is no harm because Ishara is as mitya as the sharira. Ishara sharira is as mitya as the jiva sharira. So if if one says jiva is mitya, so is Ishara. If we say jiva is satya because jiva brahma is not there, so is Ishara. Because where is the aikya at what level that has to be understood. It is cognitive. Anyway, everything else is mitya. Because there is what is mitya? There is nothing else other than me. There is nothing as real as that me which is not with with the body mind sense complex. So it is not that drishti srishti vada has no ishara. In drishti srishti vada. The jiva is considered as Ishara in the very first step itself. So one does not need to slip into anything else. Any other question comes in that has to be resolved as sopna vat mitya. Is it the same? Is the sopna understood? The way it is in sopna, similarly it is now as well. There are no other questions possible. If it is not convincing, then you have to follow the karya karana prakriya. All this has to be. How so? How can it be? If the dream example is well understood, then nothing else is needed. So the sixty-sixty was the bread and butter is dream. So you ask any question, 
if you ask any question if i can answer convincingly to myself as a sadhaka swapna vat like a dream whatever you ask how is it possible is it possible in the dream can you dream a similar scenario can you think of having a similar scenario in dream how does that happen similarly it is here so it is treating the waking like a dream okay where there is no one else in the dream who there are so many including the sun that bright sun who you know you crave for in winter and you want to do away with in summer all that is created by the dreamer it is as vivid the pain is as real the happiness is as real the craving is as real the satisfaction is as real the hunger is so much so there is no difference between the dream world and the waking world therefore swapna vat mithya okay and that example is not needed for srishti uh, drishti vadin it may be needed in some prakriyas in some prakriyas the karya karana is convincing enough but then i there are people who have questions you know what is the material of the world what about that he created from what did he create when those questions come up then there is no example better than dream mm -hmm. so they somehow get confused that in dream the table in the dream is a subtle table it is not a subtle table it is hard wood you can't bang your head on the table and not get hurt in the dream it is it is not a subtle table it is not an imagined imagined table it is as real yeah so uh, they think because i know the person i had explained this and then the person says you know what you know i am not talking about that you know i am talking the material what about the material the material cause so this is all bookish material cause and all this is bookish knowledge you stick on to those words you go nowhere because material cause you think it is real material it is not real material mm. so how did ishwara create it create the world it is he is abhinna nimitta upadana karana what it has to be understood abhinna nimitta upadana karana he himself is the material cause also unlike the potter who does not come home when you buy a pot you don't need a place for the potter the potter doesn't come home with the pot right he is a creator of the pot but he is not along with the pot he is different from the pot but nimitta upadana karana abhinna means the creator is in the created pervading in the created how is that possible it is possible when the created is in the creator's mind so the entire creation is the dream of ishwara and that is the bridging between um, srishti srishti vada and drishti srishti vada he is the dreamer somehow i happen to see the dream when does it happen that one sees the other's dream when there is no other mm. if i see your dream then you and i are the same person can't be different so if he is dreaming this prapancha why because he is a abhinna nimitta upadana karana he cannot have material which is separate from him he is the material if he is the material when is that possible when it is an imagined world only then you are the material i am the material of the the entire dream material has been provided by me not by borrowing from here and there it is in my mind similarly ishwara's mind has this is the material for the and then we say it is maya maya is the material what maya materials it's sattva rajas tamas what is it can you split and show what is sattva rajas tamas it cannot be shown it is what is material it is all it is all as subtle as the mind it is just the mind what is mind it is what is in the mind that material is all imaginary and if it is imaginary let it be imaginary for ishwara why do i see it every one of us sees the same prapancha as dreamt or imagined by ishwara mm -hmm. when do when does that happen you dream something yesterday night and you start discussing there there is no common ground to discuss 
unless i have seen it and if i say oh, i claim to see it i can see your dream only when you and i are one ishura sees a dream i participate in the dream helplessly because he and i are one so that's a bridging gap between shrishti drishti vada i like that part. i mean this, this is what i mm-hmm. i sent that uh, small segment earlier it was my first uh, prakriya bheda uh, yeah. speech at the gurukula very short speech on so prakriya bheda can be bridged but does not mean that it has to be bridged as many prakriyas are there as long as they land you in aikya anything is okay it is not necessarily drishti srishti vada whichever solves your doubts resolves your doubt that is the prakriya okay okay thank you anything else no that's it namaste namaste